In today's video, I'll be teaching you a few ways and actually telling you some of the scamming methods used in Murder Mystery 2. If you didn't know, well, with the rise of godlies, um, luxury legendaries, and loads of cool items, well, there are a lot of scammers and hackers looking to take all your inventory. These people just couldn't care less about you, and then just here to ruin your hard work and the hard hours you have put in. So please keep watching this video and comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Now the first common scam, and I see this quite a lot on Reddit, um, is when people offer codes for weapons. Now let me be clear though that um, basically these codes, they used to exist at one point and you could get them at certain giveaways. But I will tell you this now, that they're definitely lying and they probably don't have any code. Now as I said these codes could be used to redeem weapons, but for most of the years there haven't been any new codes and these people are lying. They will say something like, oh give me your godly item and I'll exchange you a code. Well this is not real and trust me, they won't do this. The next type of scam, well it doesn't necessarily have to be a scam, it's called sharking. And sharking is basically where players lie and manipulate you about the proper value of your weapons. For example, you might have the JD knife, which is a very rare legendary, and then a player who's trying to shark you will say, well, it doesn't have that much value, let's trade it for something else. And newer players are more likely to fall for this, or players who just haven't touched a game for a long time. I mean, sharking is one of those methods that you really have to be aware of. To avoid sharking though, just please use MM2 values or Supreme values. This would fix the problem and you wouldn't have to deal with it in the first place. I feel like you have to do your due diligence to avoid sharking a lot. Next one is duping scams. And whilst there are, there are scripts and people do dupe, bots dupe, it is possible to dupe. But if someone asks you to borrow your knife so they can cheap it, again, they probably don't even have a script or they don't even know how to dupe. They're just there to trick you and steal your knife. Although in my opinion, duping scams do happen, but you know they're not the most popular method. Another way you can get scammed though is by hackers tricking you to, and they might trade a request and then they will use a forced trade uh, which is part of, the, uh, part of a malicious script and then they can steal all your inventory so please be aware, please be due diligent if a hacker requests you they can force trade and they can steal all your items that's not good the second thing is is avoid discord scams or sometimes avoid people who want to uh, draw your avatar for you because if you don't know malicious links and that kind of relates in real life malicious these malicious links uh, contain a cookie jacker or they can hijack your browser session and steal all your uh, roblox uh, usernames and passwords this actually does happen so much and generally speaking you want to if you receive a link like this you definitely need to uh, get a program such as virus total and paste the link inside into virus total or another threat detection site and it will most likely tell you if the link is real um, yeah and although if you click a link like this it might actually take you to discord but you don't actually know what the cookies are and due to the scripts evolving and people just making scripts for fun hacking and the malicious side is extremely dangerous Another popular scam is where people ask you to lend or borrow. For example, a player might ask you to um, to see if you let them use your chroma. Come on, let's be real. If this happens, uh, yeah, they're not going to be giving your weapon back unless they are really nice. And I don't recommend falling uh, for tricks like this as well. It's absolutely crazy that people actually fall for lend. I mean, you could try, for example, to ask for some of their rare items, though, and if the value um, surpasses your item, well, hey, you just gained yourself a few free items, and it's worth it. I would also say avoid cross-trading. I mean, cr not only cr cross-trading, not, you're not really meant to do it on Roblox as well, 
but it still happens, especially if you're on the Reddit forums, you'll find a lot of people who want to cross trade. If you don't know what cross trading is, it's essentially, uh, for example, someone might give you money, someone give you my my. Um, they might give you a pet from Adopt Me or another game which allows trading. Uh, cross trading is a scam, especially if people. Uh, actually, what I meant to say is that cross trading it might work though, but a lot of the times it is a scam. And especially with Robux though, if someone tells you, oh, "I I got a gift card, um, I'll drink, give me your um, I don't know rare knife," uh, the code might not work, and it's really hard sometimes uh, to kind of counter that. Yeah, I wouldn't cross trade. Another popular scam is also dodgy middleman. But come on, this is quite an e easy one. It's an obvious scam to spot. And that is when some bro wants to trade with you and then they say, oh, my friend is a trusted middleman. And this usually happens when you're trading really, really high valued or expensive items. You can go on the internet and you can research for like proper, proper middlemen who are verified. And if you don't know what a middleman is, it's in, in, in terms of uh, Roblox Murder Mystery 2 trading, it's in session, essentially a bot, but it could be a person as well, who takes your inventory or your item and the other player's item and then kind of trades them back. Uh, you know, that prevents getting scammed. Of course, if it is a bot system, and I would imagine it is possible for bots to maybe do middlemen who are programmed, you just have to make sure it is real and the website or the person who offers it has like helpful links. But yeah, so in today's video, I did show you and I presented you a few ways on how to avoid getting scammed. I do hope you like this video. I do hope you got some great information on it. I definitely recommend you to subscribe, give a like and turn the notice on as well, the notification. I will be doing a giveaway as well, so make sure you subscribe for that giveaway. I'll be giving away a knife as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.